Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Name's Matt. Uh, just been working in the garage and doing my thing and thought might as well film it, put it up, see what people think. I have a 76 911 and also a 69 bay window combi. I'll be working on both, chopping and changing, filming a bit of both. At the moment I'm up to uh, building a pedal set for the, the Porsche. I changed it from sportomatic to manual, which is, if you're not sure what Porsche is, they have like a, in the 70s, they have an auto that changed like a manual but doesn't have a foot pedal. So you micro switch in the, in the gear shift. So when you change the gears, forward and back, drive, low gear, um, reverse, you'd, you'd put it in there and as you touch the reverse, it would deselect the gear and then when you release the gear shift after you put it into the next gear, it select a shift, select a gear. And so not really what I was looking for, but the Porsche came along at a good price and so picked it up pretty decent. And at the moment, I drove it for a little while and now I've decided that I want to change it to manual. So I've got a new gearbox and everything else. Um, and now I'm going to I'm building the pedal set. So that's what this video is on, but I also have a 69 Combi, which I have pulled out of a field, and you'll see it in the clips, I use it to um, hang some wiring on to paint the pedal set, and I've just finished most of the rust repairs in it, but up to the point where I have to clean underneath and sandblast or wire wheel and clean it all up to undercoat and paint it, so I can flip it back on its on its wheels and put it back together. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd build a channel just on my project cars and what I'm doing and stuff like that. I've called it uh, Built for a Purpose because I build my cars to drive, not to sit in the garage and sit around and do not much. So this one I've got, I'll uh, show you what I've been doing and come along, thanks. So here we have accelerator and sportmatic brake. The only problem I can see so far is that the brake pedal is way too big compared to. Look at that. Compared to the stock one, which I got helped out by Gene Lab. I'll show it in the comments description even. Um, and I bought a brake uh, clutch pedal off him. And so, way too big. But I think everything else is in the right position, so I should be able to put it all together and it should give me what I'm looking for. But now, I'm gonna pull it all apart and give it a clean up and put all the new bushes in, which I have here, which you cannot see. All brass new bushes. Let's see what happens. One thing I didn't say before is I have pulled it apart already and this piece sits in there. When it goes back together I'll put it all back properly but it's just a spring for the brake pedal.
Now I've got it all apart. I need to give it a good clean. Put a bit of gunge on there. Cleaned out that shit in there. Bit old grease. But still not sure if I should cut this off yet or wait. I think I might cut it off. And then just in the bottom over here, just got to clean out. Get rid of all the pitting. Same on this bit. Not too bad, but needs a bit of work. Um, new clutch pedal, accelerator linkage, um, and the old bushes just had to knock out with a screwdriver. Just a little bit old, worn, and didn't want to come out too much, but new ones look perfect and shouldn't take much to get in. Um, gonna get the wire wheel ready and give it a go. Got the wire wheel ready, safety first.
So I thought I'd better tell about the car I'm working on. So this is the seven, this is my 76 911 right hand drive that I'm building the, the pedal set for. It's not too bad on on the other side and, and down here. It's got a bit of bit of paint flaking off and stuff like that. Whoever painted it didn't do a very good job. They just did a a quick closed door respray. So you got a, a bit of chipping down here at the front and then on the on the two air scoops that feed the air box for the front um, heater cooler it's 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 cracking down the edges there so it's not too bad I'm happy enough with it for now it's um, ratty ish on the outside so no one gives it a second look which I don't mind at the moment um, come around the side interior wise pretty stock um, I'm thinking I want to go RS style on, on on the door cards and bits and pieces which will be another project for the for the channel um yeah pretty clean factory sunroof nice and clean interior tartan seats which need a bit of work and some comper motives that'll come along later and round of the back just i cleaned out all the all the engine bay and pressure washed it and stuff like that after i pulled the the engine and box so a little bit dirty in the in the engine bay just from uh, the triangle of death on the top of the engine just really isn't good and, and leaked everywhere which I'll show you as we go along with all the builds um, bit of damage down the front here it's had a heap of bog put in there just where the, the rear engine seal goes in and the, the Porsche reflector at the back just been pushed in it in behind where it sits so it's not too bad but needs some work but yeah all the projects will come along and I'll be on this channel so Keep watching. Okay, so all done. Uh, yeah, I am filming the end of the video along with the start of the video. Uh, just I couldn't get the right lighting or anything in the shed to film and wasn't happy. But all done. As my first video I've ever made and produced, produced slash just cobbled together. It's the first one I've ever done. I thought I'd give it a go. And it's not the bad. It's not too bad. But one of my cameras, I think the heat got to it and fried the memory card and lost a bit of data and so you're missing a few bits but most of the stuff's there and it looks pretty good I think all nice and clean like the pitting in the in the bottom of the, the main assembly it's quite bad but there was no holes going through and it was quite strong like if it, were, if it was any if it was worse then I'd be changing it over and put something else on but I think it looks pretty good it's all nice and clean now um, next job will probably be getting some dry ice and, and getting the, the floor of the Porsche all cleaned up, but might happen, might not. I might get into the combi, I think. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.